yes viewers this is younger life channel and you are welcome yes today we are going to give you an important update on oka millennium city yes since we visited the oka millennium city about uh, four to five months ago we are yet to visit again so this time around we thought it twice to visit there after four months to know what is going on there yes uh, lo and behold um, you are having Oka millennium city in a very short period of time we are going to move around inside the city as we usually do so that is what we are going to do so but um we are going to give you just some brief rundown concerning the oka millennium city and some important things uh, you know that you needed to know yes another thing is that usually we will show you direction of where we are going just in our usual way we show direction we don't just bump into the city and uh, start showing you places no it's good that you know the direction of uh, where you are going you may be you know um, uh, familiar with our videos some are not familiar some this could be their first time of watching this video so they may you know want to know the direction towards uh, the Oka Millennium City so that is how we usually do our coverage we follow direction gradually and we arrive at where we are going just to make it uh, you know very clear of what we are doing yes so but this is younger life channel if you have not subscribed to our channel please click on the subscription button the notification bell you know like this video please share our videos yes yes we try as much as possible to give you your requests but yours is to share the videos so that others can watch in as much as we have met your requests please don't keep the video to yourself that should be a gentleman's agreement <laughs> don't mind me anyway but uh, there are some truths attached to it if not i wouldn't have been saying it the truth is that when we make effort to present to you you know some of these videos and uh, you know how it is to and uh, you can be able to estimate what it could take to produce a video then you should please try as much as possible to share you know our videos to various social media networks yes and your friends so that they can watch with you that should be you know how it goes well I am still your presenter Chinedu and right now we are at uh, Aroma Flyover, yes. Aroma Flyover is along uh, Enugwa Nature Expressway in Oka, yes, that is where we are. So as soon as we, you know, pass the flyover, we will move down to uh, the present government house just a bit from here then from there we'll divert at uh, Estobiaco Estate Junction we divert right and enter the old road from that old road we'll enter the Oka Millennium City yes it's as simple as that so make sure that you get all the details of this video but if you wish to you know take some parts well it's up to you to make your decision but usually the best is to watch the video and uh, get all the details that you need about the video thank you let's keep uh, proceeding
Yes, uh, we are moving along uh, Oka Onitsha Expressway, just getting close to the current government house. You know, from there, we move down to Estobiaco. From Estobiaco Junction, we move to the right towards uh, Oka Millennium City. Yes, uh, like I said, uh, I will be dropping some facts concerning this uh, Oka Millennium City that you need to know. In this video, um, uh, we are going to show you the details of the current details of uh, this Oka Millennium City and you yourself, you, you know, make a uh, your own uh, judgment concerning what we will show you on ground and as usual we will give you the you know the summary of what we saw last time we visited about uh, four months ago what we saw on ground the difference between that time and now that is what uh, we are going to do for you so that you will be properly updated on what is going on you know within the city yes uh, um, uh, there is a memorandum of uh, understanding that the Anambra state government with uh, MP infrastructure as the developer of this uh, Oka Millennium City they have a memorandum of understanding and uh, that memorandum of understanding was signed in 2019. That is uh, during uh, Governor Obianos Teno. Yes, that was when the understanding was signed. So, but now we have diverted into uh, old road that connects, uh, you know, uh, Enugu and uh, Onicha. But this area is a uh, Oka area. Yes, I think it was a bit of it that dualized this road and make it what it is now. Before it used to be a single lane here. So, but from here down to uh, Amobia, at a point, government dualized it. So it will be, you know better and finer and to accommodate more vehicles you see this road though we've just passed this road we enter the oka millennium city road but that road has been like that without much pothole that's what we are talking about talking about quality don't worry later we'll come out and i will still talk about that road when we talk about uh, road construction so here we are heading to Oka Millennium City Gate and uh, you see this um, walkway. I want to show you something about this walkway you are looking at now. This walkway is a complete fine walkway but is a drainage. It is standing on top of a drainage. I don't know if you get my point. This walkway now, below it is a drainage system. So some people were like saying that uh, you don't construct a, a walkway on top of drainage. I'm trying to show you an example. And this one is neatly done. You don't even know that you are walking on top of a drainage because it was, you know, very neat and nothing to you know hit you on the leg if you are walking very neat is a slab and uh, the slab was dropped neatly on top of uh, the drainage system so but i will show you very well in a place that uh, it is well uh, shown i will show you then uh, we talk about the amc is a plan gated community which involves public private partnership yes it's not just individual that owns it the government has hand in it but i will tell you the percentage ownership you know um, the percentage that the government has and the percentage that uh, mp infrastructure that is the the owner of the projects as in the 
the uh, part owner of the project, the percentage that they have. Well, MP Infrastructure is being owned by uh, an Oka indigen by name Kenneth Mobo. Yes, uh, that is the owner of this uh, MP Infrastructure. And according to him, they are just about to, you know, uh, uh, start the project as in they've just established Oka own then they will move down to Newe, probably Onicha and other places in Nigeria. And uh, that is what uh, their plan is. So, but let's keep going. You know, it is a large scale residential neighborhood. Uh, that is, this Oka Millennium City is a large scale residential neighborhood. You know, commercial and recreational uses and also amenities such as schools, park, entertainment center, playgrounds. They have it all planned into this estate that we are now. But here is just the entrance. This is just the entrance to the estate. Well, um, I noticed something at this entrance. You know, so what I noticed is that it is now well completed, unlike before that we visited. The other side, the other lane, the other lane of the entrance is yet to be completed the time we visited. The first uh, time we visited, that's uh, the five months ago. So, but now both sides are well, you know, completed. So, like I said, this is just the entrance. We have not yet entered the second gate to the estate. And also, I wish to let you know that this Oka Millennium City has uh, another phase two. This one is just uh, phase one of the estate. Then we will try and touch uh, the phase two. You know before we leave the vicinity but the first two is not here it is uh, somewhere but still along this uh, old road yes i will show you before we leave you know the entire vicinity where the first two is located yes so like i was saying this uh, oka millennium city you know, um, estate, it has a total land mass of uh, 100 hectares of land. Yes, it is quite a big place. 100 hectares of land. It's not uh, just an ordinary estate, so it's quite big. Then, uh, um, having said that, this uh, project is, you know, worth $46.5 million. Yes, that is the worth of this project, for $46.5 million. You know, and, um, you know, the state government donated the land as equity. Yes. Then the, the profit sharing ratio is uh, 73% for the MP infrastructure and uh, 24% for Anambra state government. So that is the profit uh, sharing ratio of this project. Then they said the 3% reserved for community social responsibility projects. Yes, they have uh, three percent reserved from uh, the profit realized on this project for community development. Yes, that social responsibility for the community. Yes, uh, we are still um, yet to move inside the Oka City Millennium, you know, project. Yes, like I earlier said, I said I will show you well how the, you know, the walkway is done so that you see what I'm saying very well. 
just take a look somewhere here you can see you see this is drainage and the slab was dropped neatly on top of the drainage system well balanced nothing like shaking nothing like falling except if they use the machine to remove any of them so well i just gave an expo to the government that uh, has uh, open drainage they can see a way that they can cover it like this to make it uh, you know very neat and provide a walkway for pedestrians instead of uh, shortening the actual road itself just to create a pedestrian walkway yes so yes uh, this is the main you know the second entrance to the main estate yes this main city this is the second entrance yes just keep observing you can see the interlock the whole road is interlocked yes the whole city is being interlocked and very neat one for that matter very very neat there is nothing like uh, you know um, uh, substandard uh, you know interlock or substandard uh, work here everything here is neatly done if they want to do any repairs they will just neatly remove the interlock and uh, after the repairs they will drop it back so this is a water hydrant yes that is water hydrant in case of a fire you can see it in so many places within this city I'm sure it was not there last time we visited but now I cited it in several several many places within this uh, city yes uh, I have not uh, said anything about the cost yes the the cost of this city the cost of this uh, city yes they have uh, different sizes of land in this city there are 500 square meters you know their own is not done by 100 uh, you know so majorly the one we know is 100 by 100 100 by 50 or thereabouts so but theirs is done by per square meter so what they have is uh, 1000 square meters and uh, 2000 square meters at uh, Oka Millennium City 1. You know there is AMC 2 so but where we are now is AMC 1. Yes this place we are looking at is a uh, garden. This is another hydrant. You know we are they can you know, uh, socket to get water in case of fire or any other thing that they want to use water for so that is a water hydrant and uh, this is a garden if you need any type of flower this is where you come and get it at any quantity and uh, and any type of flower that you need for your place so this is the place that you can get it so like i was saying uh they have 1000 square meters 1000 square meters is about 100 by 100 uh, feet you know, the one we call 100 by 100 feet you know usually people know about uh, 100 by 50 100 by 100 and the rest of them so this 1000 square meter is uh, a little above you know 100 by 100 uh, feet and the price is 66 million that is what they are selling it here now 66 million then for 2000 square meters is about uh, 200 by 200 square meters which is uh, 154 million here from the calculation it goes that uh, 60 60 uh, um, thousand per square meters that is the calculation 
Then uh, let me quickly run down for AMC2. That is the second uh, site of this uh, estate, AMC2. AMC2 has 500 square meters available. They have 800 square meters available. Then 500 square meters is about uh, is 24 million 750 thousand. Then 800 square meters is about 39 million 600 uh, you know thousand. 500 uh, square meters is the one that you can call 100 by 50. Though the 500 square meters is a little above 100 by 50, with about uh, 36 square meters yes that is the calculation and the price for a square meter at uh, amc2 is 45,000 per square meters so that is the quick rundown of the two sites then uh, yes we are stepping up our movement in the oka millennium city phase one and you can see how it looks like the place how it looks like well like i said after watching this video if you are interested you can you know stay move further to watch the 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 five months ago that we visited the difference but if you ask me the interlock is now well almost completed all the roads are almost completed in fact i think all the roads are completed with interlock if any road is remaining it could be just a very few place but let's move around and see how it is but this is what i've just noticed in this uh, movement right now and the interlocks are well you know placed and very organized quality interlock is not uh, the one that will just uh, damage quickly upon all the heavy duty you know vehicles that are moving on it you know um, usually the millennium city is a standard city where the roads are being done before construction commences yes uh, you can see the roads are done the roads are well you know done and uh, people are coming in to build but i want you to watch by yourself and uh, see for yourself how far development is going on inside the city thank you let's keep going
Yes, uh, we have moved around and uh, you know have some uh, good look of the place. Though we did not, uh, you know, try to get every details of the area, but at least you have seen the important thing that you need to see. You can see that the the roads are almost uh, completed. Almost, in fact, is about 95% completed with interlock all through. Yes. So, but let's step out and uh, you know try out the AMC to the Okamelino City Phase Two. You know, let's go there and see how it looks like and what is also going on there. Like I said earlier, so we are moving out of the gate of the Okam Millennium City Phase One. We are moving out from there. And we are going to join the Enugu and each other, you know, an old road. From there, we will step into the Okan Millennium City too. Thank you. Let's keep going. Yes, we've just stepped in uh, on uh, uh, Enugu on each old road, that's an Anambra side, Agoka area. Yes, that was the road I was telling you about that uh, was constructed uh, during a P2B. You know, it, you can see that the road is still very neat, the way it is, very, very neat, years ago. The only thing that this road is lacking is a uh, pedestrian walkway you can see pedestrian walking where the traffic vehicle traffic is uh, using so but the road was dualized at that time it used to be a single carriageway that shows us that uh, you know using quality contractor space better than this uh, you know um, uh, local contractors but I'm not saying that uh, local contractors are not good. There are some road, there are some roads that can be awarded to them, some internal roads. But major roads like this need, you know, very strong hand and experienced one for that matter. So it was then that this road was dualized, you know, to make it uh, look the way it is. The road has been like this all through down to Onicha has been like this without pothole just some very few places that you can see potholes uh, along this road so but the dualization was just down from this uh, uh, that junction that we entered up to Amobia axis that is where the dualization was done and it has been like this all through no damage so this is uh, the entrance way to the Oka Millennium City 2 that is the entrance where you can see that the place is still you know uh, being under developed is being uh, you know planned but we are going there to see how we can you know assess the place so let's keep going. So this is um, the road to Oka Millennium City 2. And uh, we are going in there to see what the place looks like. But from what I am seeing, well, um, it seems that uh, 
the area have uh, a little challenge because of the rains you know if it rains like this to pass uh, here could be a problem so we decided to make a u-turn and to visit uh, when the road is a bit dry yes there is no issue about that you can see you know uh, i guess big uh, vehicles like uh, tipa and the rest can have an uh, easy movement along that road but you know we don't want to take chances so we decided to make a u-turn so but the thing is that at least we have seen the location and we still promise you that we'll come back here on a very good day and have a critical look of this place you know and bring it to you on board so that you can watch and uh, see the situation so let's uh, have a reverse view of this place that we just entered now thank you Yes, uh, we are still moving along the uh, highway as a Nubu Anicha old road which has been dualized within this uh, area. So, but from here we are going to enter back into the Enugu Anicha Expressway, you know, um, but if you follow straight, you are going into Enugu State. So, we are going back to Enugu on the Char Expressway so that uh, we can uh, call it a day. Then uh, across here, if you move straight across here, you are going to Esto Biako Estate. Well, viewers, you have seen what the Oka Millennium City looks like presently. So you can, uh, you know, make your comment known through the comment section. Subscribe to this channel if you have not like this video and please don't forget to share this video so that uh, other people can watch with you thank you so viewers like i said earlier if you want to see what this uh, millennium city looks like uh, in the past five months ago i will show you the summary of that place the last time we visited the last time that's the first time we visited the Oka millennium city phase one we will show you the summary of the video of that visit and what that place looks like so that uh, you can balance the two videos and uh, you know see the development that has happened there so far well it's just uh, if you wish to watch it's not meant for everybody just if you wish so without wasting your time i will take you to that second summary of the first visit to oka millennium city but please if you have not subscribed to this channel please click on the subscription button notification bell like this video and let's hear your comments 
about our video please don't forget to share our videos because we have done well by bringing our videos to you so just do your own part by sharing the videos in various uh, media platform thank you So we are inside the Oka Millennium City now. Though the other side of the lane, probably they are still doing some work there. So we are using one lane. So all you need to do is to watch the video. And we have taken our time to move round we moved round and to ensure that to ensure that we don't miss out anything so that is the main thing we are going to move round and we will ensure that we cover everything this one is another gate the other side so but we are not going out yet we just turn we can move inside the city properly So gentlemen and ladies, we are inside the city, you watch and look around, ours is to do the documentation for you or the documentary for you, yours is to watch and view and comment and share. So we are doing our own for you now. Please don't forget to do your own part also. Then it's good to know that this Elka Millennium City is a planned gated community public private partnership project, which will be a large scale residential or it is a large scale residential neighborhood with residential, commercial, and recreational uses and amenities. The amenities such as schools, leisures and entertainment centers, parks and playgrounds. That's what the city is all about, what they plan to exist in the city. So we are moving inside the city. We will ensure that we we'll move around to avoid missing anything that may be very important. So we are moving around.
So there are other known facts about uh, Oka Millennium City. I will tell you that the total land mass of the Oka Millennium City is 100 hectares of land. The investment values of the project is $46.5 million with the, with the state government donating the land as equity. The profit sharing ratio is 73% for MP infrastructures and 24% for Anambra state government. That is the profit sharing formula for this project. Then the 3% has been reserved to fund community social responsibility projects as the remaining 3%. That is how the money will be shared, the profit will be shared about this project. I'm 
So, we are just feeding our eyes and we are still moving to make sure that we are not missing anything. You can see some pockets of uh, structures coming up. Thank you. 
So just, you know, feed your eyes and watch. Let's hear from you after watching. We are expecting your comments about this video. And having said that, I still want to let us know that in the Memorandum of Understanding, 25% of the 100 hectares of the land is committed to build up housing stock for anyone interested to subscribe and this means that MP infrastructure is actually building these houses and then offer them for sale to an Ambrarians and other interested subscribers Thank you. 
So, but we are still moving round, round the hundred uh, hectares of land to see how things are here.
Thank you. 
So, but um, you know, I made mention of 25% uh, of the whole hectares of uh, land to be built by MP infrastructure. Then, the remaining 75% of the 100 hectares falls under what they call site and service offering. We are interested subscribers purchase plots of land and build according to approved prototype. So with this, if you have not subscribed to our channel, click on the subscription button now. Like this video. Let's hear your comments. Very important. And don't forget to share this video. Share it for others to see. Thank you. We are moving towards the exit gate. That is where we are going. So, let's keep going. So now we have uh, crossed the gate. Having crossed the gate, we are uh, going out to join the Enugu Onicha Old Road. From there, we will still join the expressway and go. So at least 
we can see the way we come and also i want to show you the way we are going okay this area is called agoka agoka area so that is the usual name for here so we are moving towards the express from there we move towards uh, aroma towards that aroma side we will call it a day i want to sincerely thank you for watching this video and bye for now